Hi, I'm Ella from Zoom Hosting, and today I have some exciting news to share with you guys. After months of hard work, I am delighted to announce that Zam Hosting is now officially offering dedicated servers. And I am not joking, if you don't believe me, go to our website and check them out right now. So in today's video, I will be showing you how you can get one yourself, set it up and show you a little bit around of our interface and ILO. So first, as always, visit our website zap-hosting.com or just click the link below in the video description. You will now need to log in with your credentials. If you don't have an account yet, don't worry, you can register here for free. After you log in, you will notice a new tab called the dedicated servers. Just navigate to it and click on it. You can now see all dedicated servers that we provide with their specifications like CPU, RAM, storage, availability and more. And of course, our cheapest option starts just under 40 euros. All that's left to do is just to choose a dedicated server you like, choose your operating system and how many IP addresses you need. And that's it, just place your order. Your machine will be up in just a couple of minutes, but please keep in mind that if we don't have it in stock, it can take up to 5 working days for us to build it for you. After everything is up, you will be greeted with instructions which will guide you through the installation, so just click on call up installation instructions. Now we will need to enable ILO, so just click on enable ILO. Also I will be explaining what is ILO in a little bit. Now you can choose your operating system for your dedicated server, for this video I will be choosing 2000 2019 Windows Data Center Edition. Now click on Boot from ISO, then open ILO. You will now be taken to a login page. But before we continue, I'm gonna explain what is ILO. It is a management interface that allows unrestricted full manageability of your server. Its functionalities include server start, stop, reboot, server health, and much more. But please be careful with it. In case of wrong changes, it can cause big problems. Okay, so now we have to log in with our credentials. The username and the password can be found in your Zappin interface, just copy and paste it and click on login. After logging in, choose the option HTML5 to access the server remotely. Now I will guide you through the installation of Windows. Here you can now activate Windows. If you don't have a product key, just click on I don't have a product key and continue. You now need to select the operating system you like, but please make sure to select desktop experience otherwise your Windows will be shell based. Agree with terms and click on next. Now choose custom. Here it is required to create the partitions of your dedicated server. Click on new, apply and OK. A new partition will be created and after that just click on next. Windows will now be installed on the machine, so please be patient, it can take several minutes. After Windows are successfully installed, we need to create a password which is forced by Windows. Please keep in mind that if you forget your password there is no way to recover it, so please make sure to write it down. You can now finally access the machine. Navigate your mouse to the upper left corner, press keyboard icon and click on Control plus Alt plus Delete button and log in with the password you just created. We now have the full access of the machine, but if we want to connect it via remote desktop app, we need to open Windows Explorer, right click on this PC, choose properties, open remote settings, allow remote connection to this computer, accept the upcoming firewall information by pressing OK and press apply. You can now successfully connect to this machine from your PC. Let me show you how to do it. Open remote desktop connection on your PC. Click on show options. In computer tab, copy and paste the IP to your server, which can be found in your Zap interface. The username is always administrator. Now click on connect and type the password, which is the one you defined earlier, and click on OK. Here we go, we are remotely connected to the machine from your PC. Now let me show you a little bit around of our interface and the ILO. I will not be going through all the tabs, I will be going through just the most important stuff. On your Zap interface, in the dashboard, you will find all needed information like server IP, hostname, password and more. You can also enable or disable ILO, see the system temperature, fan speed and traffic. In the statistics tab we get a full overview of the machine. On the hardware tab you will find the current status of your hardware like CPU, RAM, storage and more. Here we have a game server and TeamSpeak tab. A dedicated video of this feature will be coming soon. Lastly we have ILO and ISO tab where you can see all the information about ILO, attach other ISO if wanted and define the boot order. ILO itself has a lot of features but I will only be showing you the most important ones. Here in the overview tab we can see 
see all the information about the host machine, see the health status and of course if needed by clicking on HTML5 we can access the machine remotely. We can also see the event log, management log, diagnostics and more. In the virtual media tab we can boot a remote host server. In the power management tab we can find information about power consumption, choose between power saving mode and high performance mode to get the most out of your dedicated server. And that is it for today. If you have any questions please leave them below in the comment section. If you need help by setting up your dedicated server, feel free to contact our support via ticket on our website. And if you want to learn more about our dedicated servers, I will leave a link to the documentation in the description below. And now, have a lovely rest of the week. Bye.